everyone welcome back to my channel so I want to make a full proper review what my thoughts are and everything on my jumbo Chanel jumbo classic flap um, I've had it for a month and um, I've been using it quite frequently for that month just so I can get into like the groove of the whole handbag and um, just the whole feel of it now, um, in my previous videos, I said, like, how I was scared using it, and, like, I was kind of crazy for whenever people would bump into me, but, um, that little scare has actually diminished. Um, I, you know, when people bump into me, I'll, I'll like, I'll just move the bag up in front of me so that no one else would bump into it. I don't make a big hassle about it or anything, um... And the and like the, the stairs that, that I said that I would get with this handbag have I don't really notice it that much. I think it's because I don't really care anymore. So if people look at it, I'm just like whatever. Sometimes my boyfriend will say, "Oh, that girl was looking at your handbag," and blah blah blah. But um, I'll just shrug it off. I'll just say, "Well, it's my handbag. What else do you want me to carry?" Um, so. I want to give like a wear and tear and review and how I how I wear it and what I pack into it. Um, so here it is. It's um, it looks perfectly fine. There's no damage, no discoloration or anything. Um, but I do notice that the uh, the corners have smoothened. You can see it has smoothened quite a bit here. And quite a bit here as well even on the other side as well so here and here um, but and and there ha there is like a little bit of like a scratch here but it's it's not that noticeable I I just like pressed it down and it's it's gone so um, it's I say this handbag I love using it to death, um, although I, I I try to make myself stop using it, um, and it's just, it goes with so much stuff that, like, with everything that I wear, um, usually I just wear, like, all black and, um, like a, like a white sweater, and then this will, like, go perfectly fine with it, it dresses up my whole outfit, I, um, I don't dress very fancy. Um, I just dress like normal shirt and jeans um, type of girl. I don't really wear heels that often, so it's usually like flats or riding boots or something. Um, so I'm not a very dressy person, but this here just completes the look um, completely, and it it just makes me feel um, that I'm not missing something in my outfit. And um, yeah, the, the wear and tear on this handbag is phenomenal, um, other than the smoothing of the corners. So I do have to be a little bit wary of the corners, but when I um, store it, um, and it also depends how you store this bag because you can ruin this bag if it's not stored properly. So I do stuff it with uh, tissue paper um, when I, and, and I, I, I basically stuff stuff the tissue paper or I shape the tissue paper to the shape of the of the interior of the handbag if you know what I'm saying um, so that it doesn't um, you know misshapen or anything and then when when I have it in its dust bag um, I actually um, I put this I don't have the dust bag with me right now but the dust bag has has the main flap and then on the f um, flap it has like a little pocket for you to, to slip your um, slip your um, chains or your the handles inside. So I put that in there and I lay it on top. So it's like laid on top of the handbag like this, but with the um, the dust bag on, but with the dust bag on it or, or inside it, um, and I lay it flat on its back on a pillowed, um, on like a soft surface. So like I'll put um, like a blanket, like a bunch of blanket, a bunch up a blanket together or I'll grab a pillow and I'll just sit my, the flap on its back. Um, because if you sit it 
um, on its base with the um, dust bag cover with the chain inside flapped over like this. It will force the bag to um, hunch over a little bit and it will give a lot of strain to the little corners here or like to the sides here. And I don't want, because I've seen this on um, a lot of previous um, pre-loved handbags where there is creasing right across the bottom on the front and on the back. So you will see like a crease here as well. And um, to me, I, I really don't want that to happen because it just, I in my opinion, I know a lot of people love it, but in my opinion, it just ruins the kind of like the aesthetic of the handbag because it's not supposed to look um soft and and you know just it's supposed to look very structured and um so i don't really agree with that look but um i try my hardest i know eventually in the long run it will start to um like crease and everything but um i've only had this for a month so i probably won't be seeing that for the longest time ever and the ladies at chanel were promising me that it will take a very long time for me to start seeing the creases unless unless I am not very careful with it but I totally am because it's my holy grail bag and um yeah so I want to talk about the um handles as well because I did mention in my other video that it kept falling off my shoulder um so I have gotten used to it I just you know I will I will always have like like um, like have a t-shirt or something covering um, my my arm or my shoulder because this does tend to to, to dig into my collarbone here um, quite often. So sometimes I will move it off to the side of the very edge of my shoulder and it it stays perfectly fine um, and it does fall off. Like one will fall off. Um, it's never both of them will fall off. It, it's always like one strap that will fall off because of my shoulder um, length here. Um, and the noise level, it has gone down a little bit because the leather has softened up um, a little bit and um the and if yeah the noise isn't that annoying anymore at first i was getting really really annoyed with it because i couldn't hear people around me because this is all i could hear was this and um this bag is a little bit noisy when when i take when i grab the bag and i put it on my shoulder it makes a lot of noise it's how sometimes the chain will bang on itself too um, but it's mostly this little noise here and um, uh, other people don't notice it but I do because it's like your, your ear isn't so far from your shoulder so this really does get like noisy at times it does kind of like annoy me but it will get a little bit better over time the noise will will die down because um, I've I've actually noticed it quite a lot and the leather itself has um, softened quite a bit after after from me having this bag in the sun um, a lot from walking from one place to another and from being in the car for when the sun is 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 direct is like right in your face with the handbag um, it has softened up it has created like a very small sheen to it so it's like it's starting to patina very nicely um, as you can see it's like kind of shiny here and everything so um, yeah and it's that um and i also want to talk about this little toggle here because this is a lot of issues that some people on, on why some people had to um return it or or purchase a whole new different bag because some people find that this little toggle to be kind of annoying um it does get um you, you do have to get used to it if you're if you're like me used to having open bags or having like a zipper a zipped bag um this this is very different from from what um how you use how you use those bags um so usually i will have it on my shoulder i'll stand up for you so i'll i'll have it on my shoulder and when i'm opening it i'll twist it and then i'll just i'll just slip my hands through and take it Take it with my other hand and just get the stuff that I need. And then when it's time to close it, 
Um, most of the time I will grab the bottom and I will close it like so. Or sometimes I will have it on like, I can't show you, but sometimes I will have it um, on the counter and it's open and I'll just like close it in no time. Um, I do get very scared sometimes that the underside of this of the CC clasp here will or like scratch or like create something like like a big scratch or something or a dent onto this little clasp here but um so i i i am very careful when i close it i will close it very softly and close it like so so um there are probably some like hairline scratches i personally can't see because of the lighting in here but um it's perfectly fine. It's not that noticeable at all. It's nothing for me to be worried about. Um, but yeah, so that's that. And so I'll open the first flap. I'll show you inside of the bag and then I'll show you what I can put inside. So here's the underside of the CC clasp there. And then this little zipper here um, only opens to about here. So just about under here and you can't really fit anything in there. You can fit papers, cards in there, but um, I recommend not to put like a, a card in here where you'd be reaching for a lot of the times. Like for example, a metro card, public transit card where you need to take it out, um, swipe the car and then put it back in because it will start to, f it will um, hang out, fall out and it's, it, and you will, you will be fumbling a lot trying to zip this bag up. Um, and the zipper here is not a very smooth zipper. It's hard to, to, to zip with one hand successfully. So I will have to like hold it, um, grip it very hard and then just zip it. Um, it's not like a Louis Vuitton zipper or like a, or any like type of metal zipper where, so you can see it's metal here and it's very easy for you to zip i mean you can tell by the sound that um there's no like this is so much easier to zip than this little zipper here um so i don't use that at all i used to but um it was very annoying and then you have this little back compartment here um i have tried to put something in here but i'm scared that it'll start to make like a little fold crease just down the center here because when you f when I put my hand in there, I can feel the the second flap here kind of starting to crease or something. And even the base or, or the, the interior base um, of the second flap will start to um, crease and whatever. And also if you put something in here, it, that means you will have less space to put inside the main compartment. So when I open the second flap here, there is uh, one pocket here and then the main compartment. So um, it's all made out of leather. Even, I did not mention that even the interior of this is made out of leather as well. So it's made out of the burgundy leather, so you can see there. Um, so this is the interior of the bag. I cannot pull the, um, the base or the base lining in here because it's, it's sewn right onto the handbag so I can only show you like this um, the little sticker authentic sticker is over there I can't pull it out but that's the sticker there um, and then here is the stitched CC's I just wished it was um, kind of the CC's were raised but they're not they're just strictly just sewn on and then here is the Chanel um, hot stamping here, it says Chanel, and then it says made in Italy. Um, a lot of jumbo flaps are made in Italy, so, um, I couldn't fuss about that. And then it comes with two large pockets and then one little middle compartment here. Um, this is for your lipstick, but I don't use that at all because that means less, it'll give less space in the main compartment and it might, uh, dig into the, um, to whatever you have in here. And uh, so I don't put anything in there. Sometimes I will put cards in here, um, extra little cards or something. 
but other than that, I don't really put anything else in there. And then this main compartment, I'll put again papers or sometimes even my cell phone, but most of the time I don't because it does create a little bulge and it's hard for me to close um, the top flap. So that's that. Um, so I will show you what I can what I can put in there, or or actually like what I'm using right now. So I do have. So I will first put the biggest item in my bag first, and um, I will put my Chanel flap trifold classic flap wallet in there. This is in patent leather and silver hardware. So I, um, so I will put that in here. So again. For reference there is so much more space in there um, I can put some more stuff in front of it and more stuff beside it so um, but first I'll put the larger stuff in here so I will have my mini pushette and in there I just have my um, my lip gloss and um, lip gloss lip uh, lipsticks and hand lotion in there just so they're not roaming around in my bag so freely So this is how I position it into the pan bag. So still a lot more space in there. I will then put uh, my next biggest thing and that is my um, Christian Dior card holder in the zip, zip wallet form. I just carry my um, just points cards, like extra, extra cards um, and my work pass in there. So I'll put that in front of my um, mini pochette here it's right there and there's so much more space I can put in there so I will put my next biggest item is my key pouch in the monogram so I have my keys and my bus pass in here so it's very easy for me to take it in and out so I'll just sit that on top near my wallet there and then I'll have my um, Kleenex, a little pouch here for I need tissues. And I'll put that, um, or actually put that right behind my wallet. And I'll put that right behind my wallet. And then put my key pouch here on top of that, like so. And then um, I would. I always need my glasses now that it's spring in Canada and the weather is getting so much warmer and sunnier. I will be needing my sunglasses. These are my Tom Ford. Um, I think they're called Anastasia glasses. They're in the cat eyes. Um, I don't keep this in the case because the case is like literally like this big. Um, so I don't put that in there. So I, um, sometimes I'll put like a cloth or something to um, cover the shades, but for the sake of this video, I'll just put this inside on top here and um, yeah that's what I would put in there. I could probably put my iPhone 6 in there but because I'm using my iPhone 6 to film this um, I um, can't show you that um, but that's what I can fit in here. Um, I could probably put my iPhone 6 in the front here, but again, it will create a bulge and it will be hard for me to close up. So with all this stuff in here that I just showed you, it doesn't put any force onto the bag. It doesn't curl the bag. It doesn't do, it doesn't really do, it doesn't deform the bag at all. So it's very comfortable um, and it's very easy for me to close. So... That's what it looks like when it has stuff inside. So this little flap here does come out a little bit. Um, even on both ends, it does come out. Um, so weight-wise, it is pretty heavy. But it's a good, heavy like weight. It's very comfortable. And I'll just carry it like this. And just go along as I do um, throughout my whole day. And um, I'm usually used to carrying heavy stuff, so this 
this is like pretty light compared to what I'm usually used to carry uh, used to carrying um, I will usually carry it like this if I have if I have less stuff that I do now I will sometimes um, make this into a one strap but um, most of the time I won't do that be just because it'll start to swing across my body like this as I'm walking so um, it's basically about it that is how I use this handbag I love it to bits I I'm so glad that I went for the jumbo instead of the medium flap um, a lot of people s say again like they're scared of of using the medium flap because it doesn't fit that much but with this bag you don't feel scared at all taking it out um my only thing is you have to be um willing to manage the weight and also it depends how much stuff you put in here um i have put my ipad uh mini mini in here so i'll show you that now just take everything out and i will show you like what i find with the weight with my ipad mini inside and how much space it has so the ipad mini you can fit a lot of stuff so that's how much more you can put in here i can put in my wallet and my key pouch and then um because i don't have that much space anymore i can't really put my mini pochette in there i will put my um, lip gloss just on top of my or just next to my key pouch here let's see so yeah as you can see that's how that's you can put more stuff in there i would put my um put more tissues in here so i will put that just on top just comfortably on top and then have a pair of sunglasses in there like that so i would close it it's very easy to close again but now because i have an ipad in there it is so much more heavier in there um It is so much more heavier than what I um, showed you now um, because the iPad mini is just um, normally usually heavy in itself but it's it's still it can still hold it um, I, I'd personally be comfortable with this many stuff in there I can probably put in my iPhone 6 in there as well just on top of everything and um, yeah this will hold your whole daily needs um, you can you can go from day to night in this it doesn't matter or for me I, I don't care if this this bag is too big for the nighttime it's still a really great handbag in itself um, now I just want to say this handbag I like at first I, I was asking myself should I sell this and maybe get a Birkin but um that was just too much and I was like no I worked so hard for this I'm not selling this for another bag because then I will start regretting it so this will forever be in my collection I don't have any doubts about it um if you are a type of person that can't handle so much weight on your shoulders this probably isn't the one thing for you um but if you know you pack very light, I suggest this handbag for you highly because you won't you won't ever feel the need of um, or or have the fear of packing too little or too la too little or too much. Um, this will hold everything that you need. It, I mean this, and the wear and tear on this bag is phenomenal i haven't had any issues with it so um probably like in if i have this for the next five years it'll probably show some like a lot more wear but um it's very understandable these things aren't meant to be indestructive like if a bomb were to hit it it would it would literally disintegrate because they're not um indestructible they are 
it is made out of natural materials leather and um, metal here so um, so this is my review on this handbag I hope you um, this this gives you a little bit more help if you are deciding on getting this handbag or um, are just wondering what else can fit in here like what else like how can this handbag um, fit my own lifestyle so I'd say it, it does fit your it would fit your lifestyle if you're comfortable with clo opening and closing it that is my only little um, worry about this but other than that um, I thank you so much for watching supporting um, a lot of people have been subscribing as I've been getting a lot of emails and I think all of my subscribers new or old um, and I will keep making these videos for you so um, thank you so much and also please follow me on Instagram Catherine is a cat I will put my name down below and you can follow me on there I po I post more photos I update more things um, than on YouTube here so be sure to follow me there and if you have any questions um, please leave in the comments below as well thanks everyone have a great day bye